Remember when I told you guys I was gonna show you my Switch digital collection I never ended up doing on my first video? Well, here's an update. So I'm gonna show you what's on my Switch. Obviously, as you can tell, Smash Brothers is inside. Mario 35, which I'm pretty sure that is dead already. 3D All-Stars, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Dragon Ball Fighters. obviously got the NES app, Mario Tennis Aces, uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, awesome, awesome fighter, Sonic Mania, uh, the SNES app, Mario Maker 2, MK11, uh, sweater, I don't play it, my friend does, he's more of a Mortal Kombat guy than I am. Uh, Catherine, which is an awesome puzzle game. Uh, other than like Tetris and Dr. Mario, I played this one too. This is actually a pretty damn good one. It's made by Atlas. Same guys I make um, uh, Persona and uh, Miyami Tensei. And obviously, uh, Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Yoshi Scrap the World. Pretty fun game. It's the same as like Yoshi Story and Yoshi's Woodley World on Wii U. Age of Calamity. I like this game. I really do. I prefer it more than the original Hyrule Warriors. And I say that because it does have its own story. And then again, it's a prequel to Breath of the Wild. So that's why I love this game. I never thought I would own this game digitally. But it was on sale. And I got it for like 13 bucks. And I haven't played it yet. But do I even care whether I play it or not? I don't know yet. The original uh, Donkey Kong arcade game, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, the original Hyrule Warriors the Definitive Edition, the Castlevania Collection, the Famicom and Super Famicom apps, Super Punch Out, Punch Out, the, the OG one. These are the OG Punch Out arcade games. Pretty hard. The Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, which I don't mind having because these are the original ones, so I'm fine with having this, even though I'm not really that into Street Fighter. Cuphead, insanely fun and insanely fucking hard, and I will never end up beating this game. I don't even care how much hours I try putting on this game, but I know that I'll never beat it. <laughs> Splatoon 2, Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, the Blade of Light. This is the original Fire Emblem for the Famicom, but this got a, a release. And yep, yeah, just like Mario, Nintendo took it down too, because Nintendo hates our money. But I got the digital version. This is this is a, a translated version in English. For the first time, this game got a localized version. Because uh, it was the 30th anniversary of Fire Emblem. Um, I mean, there's Mario Odyssey. Mario Party. Here's Link's Awakening, the remake. The Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Demo. I haven't even played this thing yet, but I should give it a try. Uh, Breath of the Wild. And one thing I forgot to show you in my video. This is the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. So, if you want to see, that is, here it is. There it is right there. I can't believe I spent $100 on that thing, but... Oh well, I'm a sucker. Rocket League, it's alright. There's the Pokemon Tournament DX app right there. Just need to put the game in, which is not there. Uh, Versus Verse Super Mario Brothers, which is the arcade version of Super Mario Brothers... It's the same as the original uh, Super Mario Brothers, but it's a little more challenging. It does remind me a little bit of the Lost Levels. And actually, I think it was in development at the same time when Lost Levels was in development. It's the original Super Mario Brothers, but way more challenging, in my opinion. Mario Brothers, the original arcade Mario Brothers. Um, better version, obviously, than the NES version. Donkey Kong Jr., the arcade version. The first Bayonetta, which, again, I mentioned I haven't played Bayonetta 2 here on Switch yet. The Donkey Kong, Tropical Freeze. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, I had fun with this game. I, I liked it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as, like, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the 3DS. It was, it was all right, but I, it could have been better, but it's still fun. It's still fun. I do, de I do definitely recommend this game if you don't have it. Kirby Star Allies... It's alright. It's a Kirby game. You know, Kirby games are always easy and they're fun to play. And that's about it. But I can't leave. No, I can't leave yet. I can't leave yet because I got I got more things 
well, not more things, but I got one more thing to show you. I'm pretty sure many of you would like to see what I have on the Wii U. I'm only going to show the gamepad screen. I'm not going to show the TV. So let's see what we have on the Wii U. So here's what I have on the Wii U. All right, we got the Wii, the Wii, the Wii menu. Let's see, got Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, I'm excited to play that again on Switch. Uh, but of course I have it here on the Wii U for the moment. Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD. Uh, Twilight Princess HD is my favorite uh, favorite HD remake because Twilight Princess is my favorite game. New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. That's uh, these are the virtual console games that I own. Uh, Mario Tennis for the N64, Star Fox 64, uh, and F Zero X. I don't have Star Fox 64 and F Zero X on cartridge yet, but I, I got them and Mario Tennis. I just got them for the virtual console for now, so I can play them in HD. Mario vs. Donkey Kong, which is my favorite Game Boy Advance game. Uh, Paper Mario, the OG one. Mario Kart 64, which I own, but I want to play it on HD. Min Minish Cap, Punch Out, Donkey Kong Country Returns, great and a hard game, but Tropical Freeze is way harder. <laughs> and of course, the original Pokemon Snap, which I'm excited to play the new Pokemon Snap coming this month, uh, at the end of this month, actually. All right, that's about it. So that's all I wanted to show you, the digital collection I have on both the Switch and the Wii U. So now I showed you everything, and now I'm out.